talk I have given in the Apricot 2015 is all of the experience I had analyzing the RPKI, what is the adoption rate we have in uh, Bangladesh. So initially I found it pretty uh, interesting because we don't have that statistics. So but when I come up and analyzing those things, I found that okay, it's not that relatively high and uh, people are not aware about the RPKI stuff because um, there are not much awareness going on. Uh, what is RPKI? What is the benefit of having RPKI? And what I found what is really interesting is uh, they even don't know much about the prefix hijacking kind of stuff. They even know that their prefix can be hijacked by someone else. So when I talked with them uh, in our regional log, in our local log, we call it BD log. So I talked with few of the ISPs and telcos, and they are not about the ever about the RPKI. So we take few session, and uh, what we found out that uh, awareness is really important uh, for the RPKI adoption and. Uh, in security, uh, 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 the convenience, inconvenience is uh, make people not going with that. So we fill and instruct them and give them uh, some demonstration, award them how easy uh, to create a ROA. It's been like three clicks in my opinion and it's all done. So we show them, demonstrate them how easy it is and yeah, we found it pretty good now. We started this in last November, November 2014. And within three months, if I remember rightly, initially it's like 2% adoption rate. Now it's more than 6%. So people are really within th three or four months, people are getting aware about those RPKI and they're really creating their was now. The deployment phase wise, there are basically two, two broad deployment phase. One is first create your WA mm -hmm. and do the validation. So initially we are focusing on because with the validation, you have to deploy server, do the validation cache. There are some technical things related with it. So we are not going on that. We are saying people that just at least create a ROA so that people who are validating those ROA can get a valid ROA or invalid ROA. So we are not making people af afraid about the RPKI and saying ROA validation and all the thing. We're saying just keep it plain and simple, go to my opinion, create a ROA, that's it. And play, play around it because it's very easy. Just look at, there are some open, uh, we hosted one open uh, cache validation server. We allow them to log into our valid server and see how, how we do it and ask them to test and feel about it. And when you feel confident that how our PK things work, go on a second phase. Put a server, do cache validation and validate this row.